What's going on YouTube? It's SJKO here uh, with my uh, daily vlog, vlog rather on intermittent fasting. This is days uh, 21 and 22. Uh, and just a quick recap, I'm now doing a 19 hour fast followed by a 5 hour feeding window. Uh, and I have to say since I've switched from a 4 to a 5 hour window, uh, I've been able to consume all my calories with relative ease. Uh, there is still somewhat an element of overfeeding, but what I've tended to do is I've made a recipe uh, for my own protein oatmeal flapjacks, uh, which can, which has around 490 calories uh, with about 50 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, fats, etc., etc. Uh, and if I'm needing to top up my calorie intake, I'll just pop up the one or two of those uh, so I meet my daily minimum which is now uh, 3,145 so so far so good uh, just to give you an example yesterday I consumed uh, approximately or exactly 3,162 calories uh, and that was composed of 71 grams of fat uh, 293 grams of carbs 254 grams of protein. Now, I really wanted my protein to be around 300, you know, but hey, it's a lovey. Uh, so again, so far, uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, I will be definitely switching from uh, a 19.5 to a, a conventional, you know, normal 16 with an eight hour window uh, when the 30 days is up because I want to start bulking uh, I will also be increasing my calories from 3,145 uh, to around 3,005 to 3,600 calories uh, after 30 days is up because you know, I want to embark on a clean bulk uh, and try and obviously keep the fat gain to a minimum. I understand there will be fat gains, okay? Uh, I'm fully aware of that, uh, but uh, I will try to keep it to a minimum so I'll also be doing between 15 uh, to 20 minutes of jump roping uh, for, uh, I'm going to bring that down from seven days a week to around three uh, to four times a week uh, so you know, so far in the IF nothing really new to report I will say as I said over the last three or four days my strength gains are increasing uh, they are improving I do feel stronger and I actually like the feeling now, even though I'm consuming a little bit more calories than normal, uh, come around 2 o'clock, I've got about 12 minutes to go before my feeding window, come around 12 o'clock, uh, my stomach is literally flat and is growling for food. Uh, and in the past, now, if I was consuming over, let's say, 2,000 calories, I'd be you know, crazy and think that, obviously, I'm pushing on weight uh, or I'm getting fat. Obviously, stupid, you know, uh, rationale, you know, but... Uh, with a proper diet plan, 3,145 calories uh, on IF between two and seven. So two and seven. I feel good. I'm go I'll go to bed you now with a relatively empty stomach, uh, and I start my feeding window the next day with a growing stomach, you know, which is great. So that really is all there is to report. But also, one one other thing. I was at the gym today, uh, and Obviously, uh, a member of staff, uh, one of the PTs, is following my progress on IF. Uh, and when I commented that, you know, switching from a four to a five hour window has allowed me to consume all my calories, uh, the person mentioned, why don't you just eat like a normal person? And it got me thinking with regards to IF, you know, is this how normal people would eat? You know, what happened to just eating? Uh, when you're hungry, and if the old adage of calories in, calories out, it shouldn't matter if you get your calories in a four, five, six, eight hour window, uh, provided you eat when you feel hungry, uh, and if you are trained towards a specific goal, obviously you eat to meet your calorie intake. And it does become a bit obsessive. For this day, I kept thinking, okay, I have a five hour window, I've had this much to consume, I've got this much to go. And it, you start thinking again, you know, and you start obsessing over your food. Uh, and it's quite interesting. Uh, I'll read this paragraph here about a subtype. Uh, and this subtype is a restricting type. 
This subtype describes presentations in which weight loss is accomplished primarily through dieting, fasting, or excessive exercise. A subtype. Now I got this from the DSM-4, uh, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. And that subtype was part of anorexia nervosa. Now obviously I'm not saying proponents of IF are anorexic, you know, but it's not normal per se. Okay? I know the hospitals have covered it. Uh, I saw a post, uh, a vlog rather, uh, a couple of days ago from Tiger Fitness and he said that IF wasn't a conventional, but didn't fit in with you know, a, a long-term lifestyle plan and it developed an unhealthy relationship with food. Uh, and to an extent, I can see his point. So again, I'm not saying I'm right or I'm wrong. Uh, I do not listen to advice, so please feel free to comment. But I have found myself obsessing over food you know, as to you know, the quantity, the quality, the timing of it, rather than just enjoying food uh, and just eating as and when. And also, it mentions here that Another, another part of this anorexia nervosa is you develop an obsessive compulsive order both related and unrelated to food and those are often most prominent. Most individuals with anorexia are preoccupied with thoughts or food. Some collect recipes or hoard food. Now, I've realized that my obsession with food has, I'm not collecting food, I'm not hoarding food, but I found myself during I am watching a hell of a lot of cookery shows now, I'm not sure if it's a form of soft torture, but I will stick on the cooking channel in the background, watch these guys making fantastic cakes, uh, fat and food recipes, and it's like I'm living vicariously through their eating, their feeding, and their gluttony, and that is where I get my enjoyment from food. Anyway, like I said, you know, I'm not saying people who are carrying out IF are or do have an eating disorder. I'm just saying, from my perspective, I can see both sides of the fence. But anyway, this is SJKO, and I'm signing out. Take it easy.